Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to be making Princess Fiona from Shrek with you. So, what we're going to need, a single loom in the offset configuration, columns one and three are going to be lower than column two. The arrow is facing towards us, or the open part of the peg is facing towards us, and we're going to be double banding. The colours that we're going to need, we're going to need skin tone, we're going to need caramel, we're going to need an olive green, a gold, I'm using uh, a standard green here which is a uh, from Rainbow Braid actually, which is uh, just a green, and I'm also using the Persian gold and green bands for the bodice of her dress. You're going to need four of the mini pony beads, they are a size four millimeter by seven millimeter. So let's get started. We're going to start by making her braid and also the little tiara. So we'll start with the tiara first, take a single gold band, stretch it into a figure eight, loop it on itself and place on your pegs between here and here. I mean anywhere, it doesn't matter. You're only going to need two spaces to do it. So you have one and two and then we're going to put another one here on this middle column. Okay, make sure you have looped it on itself. Take a single band, gold, wrap it around your hook once, twice and three times so it's nice and tight and that is going to go as an end cap on the end here. You'll dig down past that end cap and grab the two bottom gold bands and loop to the left and then loop up and you'll loop these ones up. You're going to get a pair of gold bands and we are going to put this on top of this and then we're going to move those caramel bands out of the way put your hook down the middle here grab the two gold bands pull them through reclaim we're not tying them off you are just going to take that off your loom like that and you're going to try and make sure that that is in the middle and that they are splayed out nicely now you are going to need two of these so make another one so that you have two all right and we will sit this to one side until we're ready to use it I've got two so pause the video make your other one when you're back with me we're going to make her braids and again we're going to need two double banding and you're going to place some caramel bands down the center and then we're going to have two pair either side crossover band which is a single band we're just stretching across here and we're going to put an end cap on here so a single band wrap it once twice three times and pop that on the end let's do the same a little bit further down one pair, two pair, three pair, four, and then on the either side of that we have two pair, a crossover band and an end cap, right, once, twice and three times and pop on the end here. Now if your bands don't stretch three times, do it just twice. It doesn't really matter. The more times you wrap it round, the tighter it goes. Let's loop these up and they're going to sit on a holding hook until you're ready for them. So I'm just going to get a hook ready for those to sit on. If you don't have an extra hook, you can use a toothpick, a chopstick, a pencil, a knitting needle, whatever you happen to have. Dig down past the end cap and grab the two caramel bands and loop up. The next one you're going to loop to the left and you're going to take this other side of it that's in the middle off and put it to the right, so it's either side. You're going to take the left side and loop to the centre and the right side and loop to the centre. Loop up the centre and up 
the center and then we do the sides let's do the same for the one above loop to the left move to the right loop to the center loop to the center loop up the center and loop up the sides and we will put these as I said just like this we're not going to tie them off just like that onto a holding hook all right and we'll do the same for the other one as I said if you don't have an extra hook use a chopstick a, a, the, spork, the, the spoke of a fork would work but we just need to keep these until we're ready to put them on all right let's do our first princess Fiona we're going to use caramel bands double banding and we're doing the back of her head now I should mention that uh, the idea of doing Princess Fiona was mine. However, the suggestion of how we're doing her, which is what you're going to be seeing now, was a very good friend of mine called Cheryl, Cheryl Spinelli, who is looming with Cheryl, if you're not familiar with her YouTube channel, please do yourself a favor and go and check her work out. It is absolutely spectacular. And she's a great fun lady and she does some really, really great uh, figures and uh, has some great ideas. So here we go, we're double banding for the back of the head. Take a pair, put them there. Now we're going to do a single band across here. Oh, now before we do that, let me back up just a bit. <laughs> okay, we're going to put our hair on our ponytail okay this bit now if you see we've got these these two bands here these two bands here and the two bands form four loops okay because you've got two loops this side 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 what we want to do we're dealing with the first two bands which is the left hand side we want to slide that onto the um, these bands here so let's take them off a second because what we're going to do is slide these two on now I'm going to put one side here and I'm just going to put the other side down here for a second and all will become clear I'm going to put these next two four loops two bands onto another pair of caramel bands and they are going to go from the center peg. Now make sure that you are pushing, and I can see I've just lost that. You want to make sure that you're pushing the ponytail down, okay? So the other side of those bands needs to be in the center here, all right? And then we're gonna put these two on a pair as well like that and again we're going to put one side here and the other side is going to go to the center like that and then these ones will move from there to the center okay now the reason that I put those on here first was the center ones have to go on first then the sides all right now we'll take two bands and come down here We'll take our single band and stretch it across and then we're going to take a single band and stretch it across again. We're going to use a skin tone band and we're going to place it here. So wrap it once and twice and pop here on the end. And that's going to be our end cap. Okay, so let's dig down past the end cap. Grab those two caramel bands, keep your finger on the end cap to keep it in place and loop up. We're going to find these top two bands and loop to the corresponding side, push down. The next top two bands 
and they go to their side and then these middle bands go up and we go up with the middle bands one more time and each side goes up one more time like that okay now we need to place our skin tone bands so two bands and we place in the middle we skip this first peg here on either side we don't need to put anything there because that's hair it's not skin oops throw everything everywhere push everything down it gets a bit crowded from the center to the right from the center to the left now our little tiara can go across here so we're going to take either side place one there and one there like that we need to do eyes take a single band and twist it once twice and three times and place there I use a hook to place my eyes on my band you can use a metal threader, you can use floss, whatever you like. If you don't have beads to put down, you can use bands. One band wrapped around your hook four times equates to one bead. Okay, so you'd do it twice and then you would slide onto your band and stretch it across just like normal. Okay, so we stretch it across like that. Lift this top little part of the band so you split it you've got one side of the band down one side of the band up place it above that peg and it acts as a crossover band so she's got her tiara she's got her ponytail she's got her eyes this is all good let's travel down a bit further we're going to do her neck and her shoulders so let's do her neck here and one of the things we must remember is to grab these bottom two bands that were the end cap and pull them up and over so they sit on the neck bands like that that ties the neck in to the back of the hair two bands for shoulders and chest now what we're going to do is use these uh, Persian bands I'm not a huge fan of them. I find them very sticky, difficult to use, but uh, they are very pretty. So we're going to go three, and then we'll do another three, three pair, I should say. We're going to put some arms on her. Let's take a single, wrap it once and twice, and slide onto a pair of skin tone. Now we're going to use our normal green, not the Persian green, just the normal green, and we're going to slide four pair. So one, two, three, and four, and that will go on one shoulder like that let's do the other arm a single wrap once and twice a double in skin tone slide on now four pair of the green one two three And four. I'm going to move these bands back out of my way, turn my loom, and we will pop that here. Now, let's take a single and stretch it across the bust line. We'll take another single, stretch it across this triangle here, and now we're going to use three bands and we'll make end caps. So take a single, wrap it once and twice, and place on the end here, the middle one, and this one. Now, I hope you're not all looking at me strangely, but now is the time that we loop up. 
dig down past the crossover uh, the end cap and grab those two bands hold that end cap in place with your fingernail and we are just looping up the green at this stage move and make sure you have that crossover band pushed back you just want those two green bands loop up and loop up now we'll do the shoulders to the neck and the neck up or the chest up dig down now here go for the top two skin tone bands and I have three there I could feel it I could feel that it was wrong nope still wrong so we've got something that's in the wrong order which can happen put your hook on the inside and just wiggle it around a bit and hopefully that will sort things out if not go to the side and grab the two that way and that makes it easier too so I just sort of slip my hook to the side here grab the bands and draw them back and I find that helps now in this instance we are just wanting the two middle bands we don't want to use these bands that were the um, end cap so be a bit careful loop up the center and this side and this side one of the things to be careful do you see how twisted this is when you have a twisted band on the face it really really looks bad so try and make it so that they're not too badly twisted now at this stage we need to flip the crown up to loop this center one so let's lock the sides of the crown in so that we don't lose anything push that crossover band back out the way with the back of your hook so they're locked in so now we can lift this up over that top peg dig down grab the bands we want and now place that back and now we can loop in these top ones like so grab two caramel bands and we will tie off poke it out the side drag the caramel bands to the back side of the peg one over the other and pull tight and we'll take this off the loom I use the back of a hook to help me. I don't want any broken bands. And when you have multiple bands on one hook or one peg, it does put quite a bit of pressure on. So I try and ease things off as gently as I can. So here we have the head and torso of Princess Fiona in her human shape. Okay, we're going to tuck this hair tie off band at the back. So go between her hair and her face and pull those tie off bands back like that. They can get tucked in behind here quite discreetly, like so. And that's her braid at the back. Here she is, here's her little tiara. Okay, pretty up her face a bit. If you feel that the bands are a bit stretched, you can just stretch them into shape. So that's her torso and face. Let's put that to one side and work on the next part of our project. Let's move on to the next step of our project. We're going to have the olive green bands. You're going to take a single band, stretch it into a figure eight, loop it on your fingers and place on your board, on your loom. Again, with another one and place. One more time and place. So you have three that are looped on themselves. Here, we're going to put another one, loop it on itself in place. I'm going to do the same down here. Single, stretch it, 
loop it on itself. Two, three, one more here, and four. Okay, so can you see how we've laid this out? You have three and one, three and one. We need an end cap on the end of each. So take a single band wrap it once and twice and place on the end once and twice place on the end you're going to dig down past that end cap and grab those two loops hold the end cap in place and loop to the side and loop up and loop up take these ones from the left off your loom and replace on top of the ones on the right and then loop up same this side, loop to the left, loop up, loop up, take these ones from the centre and pop them on top of the ones on the right and loop up. These are going to sit on a holding hook until you're ready to use them. Take them off the loom, gently does it, okay, spread these out like that. And again for the second one, make sure that they're not bunched on each other. Give them a better shape when you sort of stretch them out a bit. You can see that tip of that one is just a bit twisted so it looks a bit funny. So just twist it into shape. There we go, that looks a bit better. They're supposed to sort of look like little, little diamonds. These are going to be her ears. Okay, now we also need a nose. So we're going to take three bands, put them on a hook, wrap once and twice, take a single band, figure eight, stretch it on itself, and try and lift these over. All right, and again, we're going to reclaim like that. Okay, so that's going to be her nose. Let's put all of that one side. Let's start with the back of her hair. Again, it's going to be caramel. We're double banding Now, remember, these three that go across here, we have to put her ponytail on, do you remember? So let's do the, the, the middle one first. Actually, we don't do the middle, well, we, we do this side one first, remember? We put it here, put one side there, keeping the ponytail inside, and we are going to move these two bands instead of onto the middle peg where they need to go, we have to put them in a holding spot here, do you remember? Now we're doing the next set, which are these four loops that go in the middle. Keep the other four loops to the very end, keep them back down your hook so they don't go on. We're going to put one side here, and the other side on the centre, like that. Now we can do our next pair. Slide the remaining four loops on, and if you remember, we go from this peg here to the centre. Now we can move this peg, this the band's here, into the centre. Do you remember that? And we have the ponytail stuffed down here at the back, and that's where we want it. Push everything down. Single band stretched across as a crossover band and another one here we're going to have two bands here for the neck and now what we're going to do is an olive green band as a end cap here so single wrap it once and twice and pop that on the end there let's loop this up dig down past the olive band and grab the caramel bands loop them up keep your finger on that 
band if you're scared that it's going to fly off. You're grabbing the two top bands and looping to their corresponding side. There's one. Let's find the other one. Here we go. And these go up the middle. We go up the middle twice. We go up each side once. Like that. Push everything down. We need to add a lot more here. We're going to be adding skin tone, which is olive. So take some olive bands and we're going to place the olive bands for her face. Take a single and we go across here as a crossover band. Put that one there. Now, we have ears and a nose to, to lay. We're going to put the nose, I'm going to move this crossover band just down here a bit. Okay. The nose is going to go here on this set of bands. I'm going to lift up and the nose that I made earlier and that's on my holding hook, I'm going to slide down onto those two bands like that and replace my bands okay next we have the ears so I'm going to take a single brown band I'm going to twist it on itself put it on the end of my holding hook and I'm going to slide one ear through and I'm going to place that one side here and one side here alright so there's my little ear I'm going to do the same for the other side single brown band or caramel slide my ear on like this I'm going to have one side here and one side opposite where the eyes will go so they are here on this peg here now we can also put our tiara one side and one side we know that we're going to have to lift that up, that's fine. For the eyes, take a single band, wrap it once, twice and three times. Now the problem we're going to have is that this is actually going to then get in the way of the eyes, uh, of the nose. So I'm going to take this band and I'm going to place, I'm going to lift it off and just keep it here. Okay, I'm going to take my, my single band, twist it once, twice three times and pop here. Now I'm going to place my eyes and again I mentioned you can use beads or bands it doesn't matter. Slide your eyes onto your skin tone which is in this case olive and stretch across like so. Lift one side up to go over there and then we're going to put our band with our nose back in place like that okay so we have tiara we have ears we have nose we need to have um, some little jowls here but we're not ready to add those just yet so next what we're going to do is take our hook and grab the bottom olive band that was um, for the uh, hair and lift it up and over the neck band like that and that ties the back of the hair into the face. We're going to do our shoulders and chest and again we're going to use the Persian golden green to do her bodice. So one, two, one, two, one and two. We're going to use single to stretch across as a crossover band and we'll do the same here. What we need to do next is arms. So take a couple of the olive, I'm just going to move those out of the way, a single olive, wrap it once and twice and slide onto a pair of olive 
and then with our regular normal green we're going to slide on to four pair not at the same time <laughs> so there's one two three and here's four and pop here on the shoulder and then we do the same a single wrap once and twice slide onto a pair and reclaim and then four of the regular green one two three and four and we're going to put that arm over here okay so let's think about what we have here nose ears we need chubby cheeks so I'm going to put a couple of bands here to remind me that we need chubby cheeks ears hands now I'm going to lift this crossover band up we have something to add to the bottom here before I'm going to put that on here is our regular Princess Fiona. What we're going to do, as you can see, we have this crossover band here. And we don't want that to stick out the back particularly. So what we're going to do, each of these little end caps has three loops. You're going to get the first two loops on your hook, like that. Then you're going to take the end cap, which, uh, the crossover band, I'm sorry, which is this one here. And you're going to make sure that the other loop, and in my case it's here, you want to get it so that the crossover band, here's my cross, do you see my crossover band here, is in the middle, there, that's the crossover band. So I have the crossover band between the three loops of my end cap and I'm going to put that there don't have to worry about the crossover band on the middle one because that is a little bit higher so you just go through the three loops of the end cap and place those in the center you do have to do the same thing for the last little loop here so get the first two loops so I've got all three loops so I'm going to take one loop off I've got two loops on my hook the third loop is there crossover band is here so I'm going to hold that and find my other loop and I'm holding it close to the hook my other loop is here <laughs> here it is there's my other loop pop it on I've trapped that crossover band between can you see there's the crossover band here and I have it between my loops and I'm going to put that on here. As I said, if you don't do that, it's not the end of the world um, because all it means is that the, the crossover band will be seen at the back. It doesn't really matter. Now, we have some more fancy footwork we need to do. We're going to lift one loop, or two, doesn't matter, whichever you get, two, two loops in this case, and put a single band underneath and it stretches to the middle and then again you're going to lift one or two loops off and place and put the loop back and that gives us that crossover band let's loop up the green dig down past all the others just to find the two bottom green bands okay there's one let's find the other one I know it's here there it is so green and green, not the olive green, <laughs> just the Persian green. Dig down, up to the arms, push down, dig down, to the arms, push down. Now let's do the arms next. One, it's always important to loop the arms in the amount of times I have done a figure and not loom the arms in is ridiculous. Up to here, up to here. The two top green bands 
loop to the side. The next two top loop to the side and then these bottom two loop up. Now I'm going to loop these next two green up and these two green up. But before we go much further I'm going to add some chubby cheeks to her. So dig down past the gr past the green only. Don't go into where the brown, the caramel are. Drag your bands around and reclaim and then take another pair and slide in like that. Okay, and we are going to place that on this band too. I know there's an awful lot on this peg. Let's do the same the other side. You're going to dig your hook down past the green bands but not into the caramel bands. And I'm not doing a very good job because I'm trying to see backwards. There's my two. Reclaim, get another two. Pop on my end of my hook, drag through and they have to go here on the cheek as well by the eye. So let's pop that if I can. <laughs> there. These are very, very full. Dig down. You're finding the bottom two brown bands and loop up. Make sure you push past the crossover band and you just find the bottom two. Loop up. Now, here we have this nose, so we're going to dig down, grab those two bands, I want those to be either side, splay it out so that the nose sticks between. Okay, like that. Now, here we have to do our flip top tiara. So pull your tiara above that peg, dig down, find the two caramel bands and loop up and put your tiara back. And then you can loop up these two sides. Like that. Grab two caramel bands, poke down the side, out the edge there, pull them back through to the back side of the peg and pull tight. Gently ease her off the loom. There are a lot of bands involved in this. Gently does it. I can see here. I'm going to go down that way just to help myself. Again, get that hair up. So, pull into shape, let's sort her face out, there's her eyes, there's her little chubby cheeks, her ears, her tiara, sort her nose out, you might need to pull her eyes forward a bit because she does have the nose that is Pushing it back, if you remember. Okay. Let's hide these tie-off bands behind her hair. It's always a bit tricky. There 
there we go that's better when it's at the back here you can just pretty it up so that it goes either side and you can't see it so there is her braid or her long hair okay so as you can see you have the ogre and human either side let's put this to one side we're going to make her skirt so for our skirt we're going to make it a little bit different from how we normally make our princess standing skirts we are still going to be doing 15 rows but we're going to be using a few more columns a few more pegs than normal I'm using the um, Persian green and gold to do the first layer so take a single and twist it into a figure eight so this is number one and we're going down to four here and again you're just this is the first column the first row I'm sorry so you twist it okay so one two three and four and then another four at the other side so you're actually using 10 pegs it's going to be a considerable amount bigger than normal but that's because of what we're doing so you do your first row with a twist then all rows after that will not have a twist they'll just be stretched across okay now I'm not going to do every single row with you but I am going to start you off as I said we're doing 15 but instead of how we normally do it where we do three rows at a time we're going to only be doing two rows at a time it makes it less thick less uh, robust and more easily um, stretch stretchable so that we can manipulate the skirt better so take your hook and use the bottom two bands and place them over the top bottom two and you're lifting them up and over the top two normally we would have had six loops to go through we've only got four you've got the one two three four lift over like this and we're going to do as I said this 15 times that was two so now I'm doing three and what I would like you to do is keep going until you're at 15 and when you're at, you know pause your pause the video when you're at 15 we will get back together and complete our skirt and uh, finish our doll together so this is my number three and again you take the bottom two and lift them up and over so pause your video and I will catch you when you're at 15 if you're at 15 now <laughs> you will see that we've laid the bands and we've gone up and over and we have two bands left on each peg we're going to collect those up so use a hook I like to put my thumb on the furthest ones because I don't want them to come off the pegs and there is quite a bit of stretching involved so it could happen so collect all of these loops up and we're going to thread them onto a pair I'm going to use four bands for this because I want insurance put two bands on your hook and two bands on the end of your hook and then move those two into the center reclaim the end of your bands hold those ones up and over and now you have a slip knot so this is what we're going to thread these over onto now the trick to this is to keep this taut keep this tight if it's not it's very easy for these bands to fall off um, and get lost in the nothing <laughs> so thread them all over 
pull them through. I am not going to try and tie a knot in these. We want the added extra stretch. So I'm going to take a single band, put it through both of those two and tie a slip knot. And I'm going to make sure it's a tight one. Okay. Now we can stretch this out and make sure that it is evenly spaced because instead of putting this on with a spoon we will be stretching it with our fingers so get your doll in the shape that you want so for example if we're going to do normal human princess Fiona first have your little tie off band at the back stretch your skirt out and put your figure in like so you will need to squidge things around and yes you're going to see a bit of here there and everywhere it's uh it's a doll <laughs> but here we go push her into shape and there we have princess fiona in her standing skirt now as you know full moon happens and what what occurs our princess fiona changes into an ogre so twist your skirt the other way turn it the other way and you will want the end of it out and you have to make sure that the the head is pushed in um, otherwise you will see her but you turn the dress the other way and there obviously you have to pull her into shape a little bit she's just been stuffed up a skirt but there you have the ogre princess Fiona so all you do is flip the skirt either way to depend on which princess you actually want to see at any given time so there she is princess Fiona or twist her around again you might need to just stretch out her skirt I mean her hair is poking out here so all you do is twist out her skirt again and there she is in human form I really hope you enjoy making her and uh, thank you again to my lovely friend Cheryl for such a fabulous idea of a of a princess either side. Take care. Bye-bye.